Welcome to another tutorial for the Edexcel Further Pure 1 Maths course. In this tutorial we're doing our fourth video on um, proof by induction and in this video we're focusing on matrices and in particular matrix multiplication. Proving uh, some matrix multiplication formulae are true using induction. Edexcel, uh, this is what we've done so far, summing series, divisibility, finding the general term of a sequence, we're moving on to matrix products. We'd have to prove by induction that something like the following is true. Okay, um, let's uh, get straight on with an example then. Use induction to prove that the following is true. Right, we start off as always, step one, with our proposition. We write down what we are trying to prove so it sticks clearly in our head and just for neatness of writing down our proofs. We are trying to show that one minus 1, 0 and 2, that matrix raised to the power of n, i.e. multiplied by itself n times, is given by maybe a simpler matrix, 1, 1 minus 2 to the power of n, 0 and 2 to the power of n, for all n bigger than or equal to 1. And we'll move on to step 2. We check the basis case. We're going to check this is actually true in the case n equals 1, the very first case. So we're going to let n equal 1 and we're going to work out the left hand side. So the left hand side at this here is simply going to be given as 1, minus 1, 0 and 2. The right hand side would be 1, 1 minus 2 to the power of 1, 0, 2 to the power of 1 which actually is equal to 1 minus 1, 0, 2, as we had hoped. Okay, so therefore, true for n equals 1. Now, the third stage is your assumption stage. So you're going to assume that this statement is true for n equals k. So assume true for n equal k and write down what exactly that means. If this were true for n equals k then what you'd be saying is that 1, 0, minus 1, 2 raised to the power of k would be equal to 1, 1 minus 2 to the power of k, 0 and 2 to the power of k. Okay, so that's our assumption. We are assuming that's true. Now here, you wouldn't write this in your proof, but this you'd write on a scrap of paper or on another page. What are you trying to show in section 4, the inductive step? You're trying to show that 1, 0, minus 1, 2, if you raise that to the k plus 1, then that would actually be equal to 1, 1 minus 2 to the k plus 1, 0, 2 to the k plus 1. Okay, this is what you're trying to show for the k plus 1 case. Okay, you can't write this down as a proof, but that's your aim in step 4. If you can use this to show this, then you're done. Don't write this in your proof, that is what our aim is. Okay, so stage 4, we are going on to the inductive step, i.e. we are trying to work out what happens when n equals k plus 1. So you let n equal k plus 1. And you write down what this is, i.e. 1 minus 1, 0 and 2 to the power of k plus 1. Now you could break this up into something you know. You know a formula for 1 minus 1, uh, 0, 2 to the power of k. Okay, you can use your step 3 inductive step multiplied by the matrix 1, minus 1, 0, 2. You've just broken up this k plus 1 into this matrix to the power of k and this matrix to the power of 1. Okay, by step 3, you know a formula for this, and the formula for this was 1, 1 minus 2 to the k, 0, 2 to the k. And you still got your 1 minus 1, 0, 2. And that was by step 3, the inductive step. So let's just look back. This here 
we got that 1 minus 1, 0, 2 to the power of k is equal to 1, 1 minus 2k, 0, 2k. So we've just substituted this here for 1, 1 minus 2k, 0, 2k. Now we've got two matrices only, not um, k plus 1 matrices time together. We've only got two, and we can use matrix multiplication in order to do this. So for the first element up here, it's 1 times 1 plus 0 times this, so I'd get 1. For this element over here, it's 1 times minus 1 which would be minus 1, and 1 minus 2k times 2, so I'm going to just say for now, plus 2, 1 minus 2 to the power of k. I'm not going to actually work that out in my head just yet. This element here would be 0 times 1 plus 2k times 0, so that's 0, and this element here would be 0 times minus 1 plus 2k times 2, 2k times 2 would be 2 to the k plus 1. Okay, and it's just a case of tidying that element up there, it looks like. So you've got minus 1. If you expand that bracket, you would get plus 2. And 2 times minus 2 to the k is minus 2 to the k plus 1. Put your 0, 2 to the k plus 1. And we are virtually there now. We would have minus 1, 0. Minus 1 plus uh, 2 is 1. Minus 2 to the k plus 1 over 2 to the k plus 1. And that was what we were trying to show over, so it wouldn't be minus 1 there, sorry, uh, this here would have been 1, I don't know why I put the minus 1, that was 1 always, okay. Um, we were trying to show 1, 1 minus 2 to the k plus 1, 0, 2 to the k plus 1, we were trying to show 1, 1 minus 2 to the k plus 1, 0, 2 to the k plus 1 for the k plus 1 term. So we've done it. So therefore, therefore true for n equal k plus 1. And just to finish off then, uh, step 5 is your conclusion. And you say true for n equal k, then true for n equal k plus 1. Since true for n equal 1. You can then say that 0, 1, minus 1, 2 to the power of n is in fact equal to 1, 1 minus 2 to the n, 0, 2 to the n, for all n bigger than or equal to 1, and you are done. Okay, and that's all there is to um, these proof by inductions. Now I'm going to show you another one. Um, it's a very similar method, maybe the algebra is ever so slightly tricky, but the, all the ideas are the same. Pause the video, work through it, and in 10 seconds I'll go through and you can mark your work and correct if needed. Here we go, here's another one. Okay, let's start off with our proposition just writing down for our own benefit and for neatness what we are trying to prove. We are trying to show that minus 2, 9, minus 1, 4, when you multiply that matrix by itself n times, it is actually equal to a more simple matrix, minus 3n plus 1, 9n minus n, and 3 n plus 1. Okay, so that's what you're trying to show. Step 2, basis case. Uh, for n bigger than or equal to 1, you're trying to show. So the basis case. You let n equal 1, and this here, minus 2, 9, minus 1, 4, to the power of 1, is simply, uh, very obviously, minus 2, 9, minus 1, 4. Should have written left-hand side there, left-hand side. Right-hand side, well, minus 3 plus 1, 9, minus 1, and 4, actually does give me minus 2, 9, minus 1, 4, that I'm after. 
So therefore, true for n equal 1. And step 3 was our assumption step. Okay, so this is where we assume the following statement is true for n equals k. So assume true for n equal k, i.e. minus 2, 9, minus 1, 4, to the power of k must be equal to minus 3k plus 1, 9k minus k 3k plus 1. That is what we're, we're assuming. Now, as always, on a separate piece of paper, not in your proof, let's just get an idea in our head what we're trying to show. We're trying to show this holds for n equals k plus 1. So if we could, in our inductive step, show the following, then we'd be done. We are trying to show the following is true. Now, Minus 3 times k plus 1 is minus 3 minus, uh, minus 3k minus 3. And then you add the 1, so you get minus 3k minus 2. Here, if you put k plus 1, you get 9k plus 9. Here, you would get minus uh, k plus 1. And here, you would get 3k plus 1 plus 1. So you would actually get 3k plus 4. So if I could show this was equal to that, or some sort of variation of that, very, that same, but just maybe factorised differently or something, then I'd be done. So that's what I'm going to try and do in the next step, the inductive step, the tricky step. So step four, here we go. Inductive step. We are going to consider, we're going to let n equal k plus 1. And we're going to work out minus 2, minus 1, 9, and 4 to the power of k plus 1. And we're going to break that up into minus 2, minus 1, 9, and 4 to the k times minus 2, 9, minus 1, 4 to the power of 1. Now I know this by my inductive step. I know a statement for this, and it's this here. So it's minus 3k plus 1, 9k, minus k, 3k plus 1. So instead of writing this, I'm going to write in minus 3k plus 1, 9k minus k, 3k plus 1. And we've converted a, multi, uh, a matrix times by itself, k times, into a single matrix. So all we've got to do here is multiply out these this matrix and try and make it look something like that, and we're done. So let's have a go. Minus 3k plus 1 times minus 2. That would be equal to 6k minus 2. And then this times this would be minus 9k. So that's the top term here. Then to get this term here, it would be that times that and that times that. So you get minus 27k plus 9 plus 9k times 4, which is 36k. To get this term, this times this plus this times this, I'd get 2k and then I'd get minus 3k minus 1. And to get this term, that times that and that times that, I'd get minus 9k, and then I'd get plus 12k plus 4. OK. What would I get therefore here? Well, I would get minus 3k minus 2, so I would get minus 3k minus 2. What would I get here? Well, I'd get 9 uh, k plus 9, which can be factorised to 9 k plus 1. What would I get here? Well, I'd get minus k minus 1. And what would I get here? I'd get 3 k plus 4. And that is what I was trying to show. Minus 3 k minus 2, minus 3 k minus 2, uh, 9 k plus 9, or 9 k, 9 brackets k plus 1, minus k plus 1 and 3k plus 4, I've got that. Maybe if I just wanted to tidy up, put it in k plus 1 form, I would have, for this, I would have that is equal to minus 3k plus 1 plus 1. Okay, so putting it in the form where n would be k plus 1, 9k plus 1 
minus k plus 1, and then you would have a plus 3, you would have 3k plus 1 plus 4, just to have it in perfect format. Therefore, true for n equal k plus 1. And then last step is your conclusion. Step 5, and you just do the usual true for n equal k, then true for n equal k plus 1. Since true for n equal 1, you now can state that minus 1, 9, minus 1, 4 to the power of 1 is in fact equal to minus 3n plus 1, 9n minus n, 3n plus 1 for n bigger than or equal to 1. And you are done. And that is all for uh, this here. Now, for further homework, I suggest you read chapter 6, page 133 to 134, and then do exercise 6D, all the questions, just to check you can do it. Okay, I hope you found the following video useful in your revision um, for uh, induction for FP1. Thank you for watching.